Okay, Buttercup, rise and shine. Pike! Pike, wake up! Pike? I told him not to do it! I told him! I didn't really think he could die. Or was it suicide? I don't know. My God. What do you think it is? The last will and testament was psychotic pathology. No one's going to mourn this death, believe me. James Pike, male, age 38, height 6 foot 1, weight 174, incision on the right forearm 3 inches in length, incision on the left calf 2 inches in length. Both incisions appear to be self-inflicted in nature. ago they came, forever altering the future of humanity. William Boone's life has been destroyed. A man caught between two worlds, assigned protector to the companions, undercover agent for the liberation. An alien implanted cyber virus expands his mind, controlling a bioengineered weapon of unprecedented power. William Boone searches for the truth. How long has he been at large? Sandoval says since at least 0800 this morning. You remember the jokes that were flying around when he was first caught? Serial killers were all threatening to sue on the ground that his law degree was ruining their reputation. Yeah, I remember. Close file. What do you think we're doing here, Boone? Pike escaped. That's a police job, not companion security. Sandoval says Da'an wants to serve the public welfare. Well, the public hasn't even been informed that he's escaped. I'm not sure the police even know either. Why would Sandoval want to keep his escape a secret? I don't know. You know the longer it's hidden, the more likely it is he'll kill again and again. Open file. Pike interview. I know that I'll never be allowed to leave this cell. I haven't joined the experimental drug therapy with the hope of being released. I want this penitentiary to be a place of genuine penance, change. You must know how skeptically your words are going to be received, James. I know. But I believe if the devil can't be redeemed, then no one is sure of their own salvation. here, Warden. There was no public warning, no manhunt whatsoever. You tell me. I followed procedure. The governor told me to do nothing until you arrived. This is Dr. Kaplan. Dr. Kaplan, William Boone, Lily Marquette. Can you tell us what happened here, please? <laughs> there was no pulse, no heartbeat. He, he just stepped off the table as if nothing had happened to him. Can this be an effect of the experimental drugs? No, no. The toxological scan showed uh, nothing unusual in his system. You know, Doctor, there are some people like yogic masters who can slow the heart and mirror death. Can they mirror rigor mortis? Why do you think he left you alive, Doctor? I don't know. He had the time, opportunity. I must not have fit the profile of what's driving him. Well, how would you describe that profile? The, uh, the newspapers labeled him as a deranged mercy killer. There's nothing of mercy in James Pike. 
That's a misunderstanding of his pathology. He's a judge. He seeks out fear, weakness, inadequacy, and then he convicts. You didn't show him any fear, doctor? <laughs> what do you think? Look, for whatever reason he passed me by, I really don't care why. I'm alive. Can you show us his cell? Mm -hmm. Thank you, doctor. Yes. I hope you're ready for this, Captain. It's not going to be pretty. Nothing I haven't seen before. He did it the night he died. It's in his own blood? We need to have it analyzed. Can Kaplan do it? Yeah. Although I doubt he'll want to come back down here again. Don't leave the cell when I'm gone. What do you think? This symbol and this. It looks to me like a language. I know it sounds crazy, but the closest thing they resemble is the Talon's own script, only simpler. But nobody in the world understands their language. Yeah, that's what's so amazing. You can barely pronounce it, let alone interpret it. It's, it's impossible. Yeah. And dead men don't rise. I appreciate your staying, Doctor. It's important. It's all right. I feel safer here anyway. This is the one place I know Pike isn't coming back to. He's not coming after you. Why would he? You don't have a clue what he's going to do next. James Pike is probably the most intelligent person I've ever known. He was a brilliant criminal lawyer. Persuasive, extreme in his tactics. Yeah, like cutting the heads off his clients. Well, precisely my point. Anyway, I'm perfectly happy to stay here, Commander. Huh. What do you say? Some kind of minor anomaly. Anomaly? I don't know. Maybe a virus. Boo! What are you doing here? Don't you ever go home? Why? You can't go in. Don's resting. Boone? Something urgent, Commander Boone? Uh... Yeah. Uh, James Pike has a CVI. Yes. I believe he represents the first human to receive our gift. He has benefited from the implant for almost two years. Why would you give a CVI to a pathological killer? Human prisons do not rehabilitate. They merely 
incarcerate. We believe that by eradicating the violent psychosis of such a criminal, we offer humanity a great benefit. You seem ill at ease with our decision. Uh, just uncertain why I wasn't informed. Agent Sandoval has convinced me to proceed with the utmost discretion. It would be impossible to explain the Companion's attempt to help this man. The public cannot know. In Pike's implant, what was the motivational imperative given him? To love humankind. And he has. For the past two years, Mr. Pike has behaved as a model inmate. Then how could he revert? It should be impossible. Then you must discern how the impossible has become possible. You pursue a fellow implant. why your privileges have been suspended, James. You've been exhibiting antisocial tendencies again. Uh, are you experiencing any mood swings, James? Now watch this. Who do you think you're talking to, Jonathan? Some umratma. Some what? He hung onto the prod for five seconds. No one should last more than one, even with an implant. He seems to have tapped into a CVI in ways I would never expect. A pain tolerance, switching his vital signs on and off. I mean, this is all really very exciting in a professional sense. Yeah. Who do you think you're talking to, Jonathan? Some umratma. Do you recognize the word? I did a linguistic survey of all known languages, ancient and modern. It doesn't appear to be human in origin. Could Pike have used his CVI to forge an understanding of the Talon's language? Well, I don't see how. I mean, his CVI is the same as Sandoval's. Enhances mind and memory, redirects motivation. Why in God's name did you give a tool like that to such a dangerous man? He, he was an experiment. If a pathological killer could be redirected, anyone could. Couldn't you have found a pathological neat freak doctor? Pike was a volunteer. Oh, I bet. There is a possibility that the aberrations we're seeing with Pike our side effects. Side effects of what? Dying. 
The cerebral viral cells in his blood sample are burned out. His CVI seems to have a time limit, a sort of built-in obsolescence of about two years, and the, the host dies with it. Just his CVI? Or all of them? I don't know. This is a revelation to me as well. Moonpike just struck. I have to go to the doctor. Same images are on his cell wall. A pair of twins, one all eye, one all mouth, and now he's had one twin kill the other. Yeah, but he's never done anything like this before. It just doesn't fit his M.O. This was a message. It's his way of telling us what's to come next. Next? How many more people are you gonna let him kill before he finishes his performance? Look, nothing he's done is random. The images on his wall, his resurrection, this ritualized killing, he's acting out something I don't yet understand. But the only way we're gonna stop him is to find out what it is and then to move as quickly as his CVI. No, you're talking like he's rational. I saw nothing rational in that motel room. May not be rational, but it is predictable. Pike's implant has access to the Talon language and their way of thinking that every answer we'll ever need about the companions may already be inside of his mind. We have to tell Doris about this. At the very least, he could help us find him. Pike's not gonna let himself be studied. He's dying. CBI is burning out, and it's killing him. Bellman thinks there's a built-in obsolescence with the implant. The reversion to his former pathology is just a nasty side effect. And your implant? It makes sense. It's like driving a racing car really fast. Your mind works at such incredible speeds that eventually it just crashes. Boone. Don't think about it. I don't. Go, Sandoval. We have a problem. Someone has breached the security protocols in the building's control center. Talon systems? Yes. How? I wouldn't be on the view screen if I knew either who or how, Boone. It's Pike. Stay close to Da'an. We're in the shuttle. We're less than 30 seconds from your location. Sandoval. Sandoval. Tracing the signal. Yeah. May I help you, Mr. Pike? <laughs> Where is he? This is crazy, but the signal is not coming from Earth. He's using a satellite. Pulling out satellite relay centers. Overlay the signal pattern. Headquarters, you can take the shuttle. Stay with it.
I'm glad you're here. I wanted to talk to you. You're not thinking, Boone. I know you're dying. Of course I'm dying. Every Avatar dies to be reincarnated. The wall. Who are you on the wall? <laughs> now you're using your gift. Listen closely. Umrath Ma and his lies will be silenced by death. I must caution you not to look at or talk to the prisoners. You can expect a bit of a zoo when you enter. A zoo of humans. It's not humanity's best face. We do what we can with what we're given. I know well the effect of the cage upon both the captive and the captor. You have a grave responsibility of which you acquit yourself well. Thank you. Can you tell me why your fellows have put you here? I killed three, maybe, uh, maybe four times. And why might you have done that? Help me. Does this debasement represent the cost of your human freedom, Boone? One of them. I cannot claim to fathom this. Please come this way. Cited by heart, if you wish. Pike CVI is essentially the same as yours and Commander Boone's. So we have the same built-in time limit? I uh, can't really say until I run some tests. Has Boone asked to be tested? Look, if you're concerned about your time limit, come and see me. After you've checked with Da'an, of course. What do you mean by that? Well, merely that I have to follow protocol. I believe you misunderstand my concern, Doctor. The only reason I broached this with you is my desire to maximize the time I have to aid Don. I understand. Come and see me anytime. CVI. I, I, I can't prolong your life. That's not the gift I covet. 
Please. Drive on. The sacred texts tell of a sign, a dire omen appearing in the heavens. Twins, two avatars of grace. Umrathuma and Shakarava quarrel over the meaning of the omen. Umrathuma vanquishes Shakarava and casts him into the void. Pike, he sees himself as Shakarava. I do believe you are correct. But the void does not consume Shakarava through anguish and denials. He emerges with the fury of truth that burns away all the illusions of Umrathuma. The voice of all lies. Umrathuma, the liar. I called you that. So it would appear. In your mythology, Shakarava succeeded. Pike could too. He intends to kill you, and he won't stop until he does. I am in agreement. Don. Who's this? Detail was incredible. The Talon constellation, figures from their mythology, things that only a companion should know about. Do you think it's because of CVI's imploding and burning out? He knows things, and Don's willing to risk his life to find out how he knows. Okay, Kaplan said that Pike sought out fear and weakness. Those are not companion qualities, so why would he be hunting Don? Would his CVI affect his pathology that much? What was the motivational imperative given to him? To love mankind. Mm -hmm. Oh my God. He sees the companions as a threat to that imperative. Well, maybe. Trying to guess his mind is like staring at a painting by Bosch. He draws you into his world, and then you can't figure out how much of it is real and how much of it is just demonic. So what are we gonna do? Well, you're gonna die. No, please, don't. He's using the Talon holograph. Find it, prep the shuttle. You're an incredible craftsman. Never seen this density of transmission before. How much time do you need to trace me? You tell me, I'm sure you know. Tell me something else. The man you butchered in the motel. Is that your gift of love? I have a higher calling. Oh yeah, I remember. I want this penitentiary to be a place of genuine penance and change. Too bad it didn't work out that way, eh, James? I have suffered through denial and agony to find my role. There is no choice. I see and I must judge. No. You just love the role. Oh, are you really so naive? <sighs> or are you merely trying to keep me talking? We're two sides of the same coin. You kill for your master and are rewarded. I kill and am condemned. Word games. I think you know yourself better than that, James. Yes. I do know myself. Do you? Hmm. When they murdered your wife, how did you feel? Shut up. Did the leash they put in your brain allow you the least regret? I told you, shut up. Or were you tearless when you saw her charred, violated body? And imagine the suffering she had endured. Shut up!
I don't understand. Such emotion. Have you snapped the liar's chains? Your implant broken? Are you as human as I? <coughs> Trace the source, the shuttle's prep. let's go. John has to get this before his public appearance. Make sure he takes those precautions. What about Pike? He let us trace him, he doesn't make mistakes. You go, take Sandoval's men. Boom. don't you make a mistake. He took me, he took me to the lab. What are you talking about? I, I altered his CPI. My God, he could fire Sandoval Skrull. Medical team at the Comtech laboratory immediately. You're gonna be all right. An ambulance is on the way. No, no, I was, I was to guard him. I know. I'll go as soon as an ambulance arrives. <coughs> boom, boom. When he took my screw, he said, he said the servant's arrow would slay the master. Go, go now. Okay, okay, okay. <coughs> I have received your message, Commander. Curious. You truly believe that he might strike at me in such a public setting? At a gathering of peace? He has Agent Sandoval's Skrill. I see. And Agent Sandoval? Alive. Then perhaps we must forego this public display of diplomacy. Your assessment. I'm almost at the campus. Can you take the precautions I suggested? But can the prey be too cautious when the hunter is so armed? Proceed, please. Shuttle, where are you? Right here. Uh, How's Bellman? Shock, she's alive. Did he put a mark on her? Yeah, the bow and arrow. The squirrel.
truth reveals itself in enigma. Let us approach it with awe as diviners of the one mystery. Same illusion you used in his office. Tell me, before it comes, have you broken Umra the household? Are you as human as I? Then I have not failed. You will be their Shakarava. You will reveal them. Reveal them? Reveal them for what? The world is inside the mind they gave you. You're in plant. How do I get inside it? How do I understand? By dying? By letting my CVI burn out? When you see, when you know, you will judge them. Help me to understand. Know what? Afraid. They are afraid. Afraid of what? Pike, what are the Talons afraid of? The sleeper. Welcome. Pike. Pike. There is much I would have asked this enigma. What confession does he impart to you? Nothing. Just incoherent rambling about Omurathama. A liar. And what might your dissection have revealed about the cerebral cortex of the prisoner Pike? Little. The workings of the human mind often seem as elusive as our own thoughts. You have found nothing. Nothing conclusive. But there remain suggestions that his implant may have allowed his mind to evolve into a neutral state, suggestive of our own collective sentience. And the other implants? I cannot say. Perhaps only psychosis can spark such evolution. Genius and madness walking as one. But perhaps not. You You will be the Shakara. You will reveal them. When you see, when you know, you will judge them. <laughs> <laughs>